Hey everybody, Jesus Christ in Western Channel, Sanchi Prime once again, right here. And today, we're delving into the why, as we have confirmed, and also premonitionary details. I have known this entire time why MLP, G5, and even Pony Life, no good. No good. Just no good. So. That being said, as I'm finally going to tell y'all right now in a video, and it's already been noted worldwide, and it's been popularly overwhelmed. You know what? Even some, they just essentially, they it's been acknowledged and appreciate, but then it's like, they couldn't handle the truth, and neither could you, you fakers and haters and toxic darkest sinners. I'm shedding light and truth. Very good. Very divine. All right. Well, let's get down to it. All right. So let's so let's get down for the starters. Where essentially, I just for I foresaw it even before Pony Life and long before My Little Pony French's Magic, season nine, episode twenty four. Because obviously, I just knew it for knew the episode twenty six of that season was just no good. Unless they're done, not existent. And future tense, too premature, and why? <laughs> it all becomes shortly as we process through this lovely set. So let's start with right here with my expansion pack from within an expansion pack. This lovely yes to FLP and my M seasons 10 to 14. It's a mini expansion that was put in with Night Star and Friends expansion pack of Secret Ship Fake Folder. And obviously, yeah, we are gonna get Fellowship is Magic and Equestria Girls. Resumed, without the influence of that country in question that started the war recently, and there's all those sanctions and everything. <laughs> anyway, so we got all these cards, but yeah, I made this within two th within the year 2019. That's their little reference point. But yeah, obviously, I just was able to foretell everything. I knew this beforehand, and I said it explicitly over and over again. And obviously, just <laughs> no. We know your game. You agree, corporate excuses and everything. I mean, Nice Star is saying that, not me, Nice Star. But then, obviously, <laughs> I'm there. I'm giving my share of my two points and my two bolts in the heart about it as well. <sighs> anyway, yeah. Just appreciate this moment and where we are right now. We're gonna get a question, girls. And friendship is magic resumed. But now let's dive deeper. All right, so I found these back on February 22nd upon further exploration and confirmation of all that. So I end up finding this Reddit page where, let's just, I mean, well, past tense, still there anyway. So obviously you got this uh, media right here, the marketing calendar. Now, this was posted three years ago, obviously. Of course, it includes Pony Life. And obviously, we got the people. Oh, yeah. What's the original source used by the Rubshin website? The screenshot doesn't exactly seem scream official communication. Darn right. And he f and this guy found on an account that has been posted in the all the official n news of that, of the Russian propaganda there. But yeah. Not fake. Anyway, he also found the references, which there's a website to the Russian legality. But of course, then the PDF, which I have open right here, of all the screen caps, caps all this media. <laughs> so we got all this, and then right underneath, yeah, look at the Russian. Look at all the Russia there. And it's been posted on the website that we'll go to in a moment, where Pony Life and G5 Russian license. And of course, uh, you'll know all these. Continued Russian, even this and that, and of course that, and even just these, all that. Now let's go back here for a moment, not tell you again. So, yeah. Oh, here we go. Though I'm still puzzled why there's a Russian MLP flyer before, before. We could see an English one. Yeah, but we also got news from Russia about the movie and the fact there would be an hour-long special. 
Yeah. Yeah, anyway, so there's those details. Now, on this website, they even cited that, uh, oh, yeah, right here, September 17th, 2020, there's no allegedly, there's no allegedly, it's fat. It's just fat. They attended the Rush on Rushing License Summit. So, yeah, and with that, G Pony Life and G5, totally Russian licensed. Now, let's take another note also from right here. So, September 4, 24, 2021 was when that f f when that film was released. This generation does not exist in this timeline at all, period. We'll get to that a little bit later. Now, take a note of this. Now, it is cited in the credits of that movie, the executive producer, somebody of uh, the Hasbro chair of executives... Brian Goldner, the late Brian Goldner, <laughs> and he passed on on October 11th, 2021. We go from September 24, 2021, his name in the credits, and then nearly a month later, he was given the ats. He was given, he was asked. So yeah, obviously just, even I connected with his soul and everything, he had regrets about G5 period, as well as Pony Life and the Russian Connections. And just obviously everybody there. I forgot what this one is. Oh, yeah. And then, right, following Brian's death, of course, unfortunately, links with my birthday, Russian attacks Ukraine 2022 20, February. Yeah. So we got all this going on. So I told you before, we got the Connections. Pony Life and G5, Russian license. The movie came out. The the business chief executive Hasbro passes on, and then World War Three. Period. The timing and everything. It's so important. You guys appreciate the appreciate that. Now let's take another note also, because I do have this file pulled up. Tell it to the executives, and guess who's in the picture? Huh? And this car was made back in 2019. 2019. And all this happened. I told it to him, and it, what happened? You think about that. It's divine timing, regardless of what happened or the possibility of Russia influence, like, you know, slipping a little something in his drink or whatever. Now, that's alternate timeline, but obviously, you know, what happened in this time? He wasn't feeling well in the office, so, yeah, that likelihood's still there as well. And then just... But yeah, he had he has cancer problem. Anyway, sorry on that. Just much appreciation for this individual and realizing he was in the wrong in regards to G5 and Pony Life. And then, yeah, much appreciated. But let's also like give an honorable mention to these other two. I have foreknowingly, foresightedly put into this very card. Steve Zoltik, Executive Vice President and Chief Information Officer. And Lisa Gersh, outside cyber, outside cyber advisor, former chief executive officer, noted Alexander Wang. That's where she she works at. So yeah, these top three influential individuals right there. Now moving forward, back to what happened shortly after Russia attacked Ukraine. All of those sanctions, over five, well over five hundred against Russia. Because, you know, obviously Putin, the Kremlin, and all that, and the fact that Russia is literally the modern-day Babylon, the dragons, the kings, I'll tell you what, even also in the connection with China's government and all that, dragon Xi Jinping, the banana peel, I'm quite aware of the paper protest. And I do support those that actually participate in that protest. They were against the government, and the Chinese government, not perfect. Just fortunately, that's a minority out of the majority being more spiritual, with the Zen and Chinese zodiac, and all that good and all that's authentically good stuff. Anyway, now let's talk about one reason, one thing that came about from those sanctions, which this is true. This is to be the fate of MLP G5. Yeah, several supermarkets and states have removed the Russian-made vodka, the vodka. From their shells in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. You think about that moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. 
I mean, you got Russia that just being a mad, mad, really mad, bad bully against Ukraine that want peace and good. And then what does Putin do? He's like, oh, sure, I'll give you some more peace. Let's negotiate. And then let's do peace talks. But then guess what? He attacks him again. It's just he's constantly lying behind his back. He's got those fingers crossed behind his back. Sheesh. I mean, shoot. <laughs> oh, let me also just throw in this an honorable mention as well in, in relation to uh, Vladimir Putin. Donald Trump. I mean, the fact that all of you were like, uh, you mischronicled me as like president of the United States and just being really bad, arrogant, and everything. I mean, shoot. I'm not a freaking Nazi. I do not support Nazism. I am a part, I am part Ashkenazi and Jewish, physically, and spiritually as well. So I'm multi-religious. And look at this. I'm wearing this loud and proud. You take note of this pin right here. You take note of that pin. I'm very proud of that. And I propose and support what is good, light-powered, and righteous. It has nothing to do with the political governments or whatever misconceptions from hatred and demons and devils and doubts y'all had and may have. I do these protests. I do in this right now because it is divinely right and so MLPG5 non-existent in this timeline because that and point of life, Russia influence and Russia over 99% toxic. It's going to go down like Babylon. Period. And I'll say one more time. Putin shall die by his own sword, as I had drawn while I was in jail, foreknowingly. Anyway, so getting back to this. Now, obviously, <laughs> we got the details in regards to resuming. Friendship is magic, it quests your girls. Just, you know, the last three episodes, premature. Well, actually, episode 26 of season 9, totally premature. Um, but just 24 and 26, that two-part... Um, I'd say I'd give it a decent pass, but it's like, meh, totally. That's why I'm totally delayed on watching any of those three episodes, period. Mm. And just all that. Now, let's talk in our details. So even the AI, Microsoft Bing, helped me out here. So let's look at the popular feelings about Pony Life. Now, just obviously reception of Pony Life, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, some, yeah, I mean, just, it's all like teen, uh, teen signs go. Yeah, anyway, it's just the whole comparison and contrast, but still, definitely avoids character assassination and whatnot. Definitely right on point. But point of life, Russia influenced, like G5, definitely. But yeah, after just watching, obnoxious, obnoxious like Russia, Constant stream of noise, seeing our cell lack of cleverness and humor. <laughs> it's like Russia does not uh, does not want to promote any cleverness. Period. There's no. It's just no heart, no soul. And just if you know anything about Russia, and uh, everything that the government is over polluting with them, there's hardly any churches over there. They hardly and there's hardly any spiritual goodness. No spiritual act is uh, spiritual. Promotion in that because the because the Russian government were like no Soviet Union no fortunately the Soviet Union is long gone for right now but we still gotta get rid of Putin and Donald Trump they gotta go down to the fire and brimstone just as stated in the Bible between Revelations and uh, Exodus that last book in the Old Testament uh, God uh, anyway I know the outcome of that story. You have just I've read it and reread it. Yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah. It is it is just overhead. This is lack of quality in that. And just that's what Rush is. Lack of authentic, good, light powered, righteous quality. Just too much evil within that. And I gotta support and give props to those in the uh, minority that remain in Russia right now that are good, light, powered, and righteous. Stay strong. The toxicity, the evil, going down. Now let's compare. Let's talk about uh, the the feelings of G five. Now, of course, everybody has mixed feelings. Just look at this. 
less positive, more negative. And just range of emotions. Yeah, anyway. Not sign, but more over rage. Just forget about G5, period. It does not exist. And I'm not the only one that feels this way. Even Dr. Wolf is like, uh, make your more chapter 5 is what exactly? And look at that expression of motion right there. That's on point. And doesn't know what it wants to be because it does not exist. So there. Just no, no. And even Mad Munchkin is like, hell no. It sucks. It sucks. Gen 5 sucks. She knows it. Dr. Wolf knows it. Even Lightning Bliss took a look at it, but uh, it's like, uh, final thoughts before G5 movie release? I mean, she saw that from a mile away, too. Just, expression on her face, like, yeah. So, I'm not the only one. And let's talk about more recently, because they couldn't handle the truth! Equestria Daily acknowledged the fact that G5 does not exist in the very timeline. Let's take a closer look at that tweet, because that had been deleted. Mm-hmm. Does not exist. Yes. I'm going to read this out loud because all of you should appreciate this as well. Anything MLP G5 is simply not meant to be. The typical reasons include the executives being money-hungry, wanting something fresh and new, and competing with the likes of Disney with video technology and all when they never, ever, ever, ever had to. As well as laying the original, laying off the original staff of MLP G4 to cut costs and whatnot. But moreover, G5 was literally foretold by me, and everyone agrees after the fact that it was to be simply awful and out of place. And this is not due to the quality of art, stories, characters, or whatever. It goes deeper, metaphysically deeper. As not only there is a lot more to explore in Chronicle with Princess Twice Sparkle and everyone else, including the background ponies of Equestria and Earth, County Equestria Girls, because that is canon, period. Including Dr. Wolf and the OCs of the fandom being literally canon as well. And existent in Equestria, period. Friendship is Magic and Equestria Girls was perfect in quality, not counting the premature Season 9, Episode 26 future episode, and the additional five seasons that is to be manifest that gives it better quality because they are not to be influenced by Russia. I'm going to throw in China, the government of China in that as well. So it gets better quality from that. Character growths and closures. DJ Pawn 3 does have a voice. Jesse Nowacking is the poised, perfect voice actor for her, hands down. Dr. Wolf, Lightning Bliss, and the others interact with everyone in Ponyville, Canterlot, and all. Nicer Sanchu, the half unicorn, half Sanchu with dimensional and psychic powers, is there and has personally worked with Twilight and her friends as well. This is not head canon. This is. It is canon in this timeline and in general, period. And the resuming of G4 will only bring about better peace and order restoration with everyone in general and metaphysically spiritually as well. And on top of that, the executives have lost since G5 I began. Lost! 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 Pardon me. And they still have a chance to redeem themselves and Hasbro by simply canceling G5, completely shelving it like a write-off a write, like a write-off like Coyote versus Acme present tense. Removing G5 from all streaming services and downloads and removing every single trace of it from YouTube. The fan base should cease to produce or even talk about G5 right this very instant and now. No more pins, no more fan art, nothing. Nothing of Pip, Sunny, Zip, and all of them. Down in the fire and flames, the cleansing blue flames. And if they stick around and they continue to linger... Just, they go into fire and brimstone also. <sighs> this, the fan, obviously, is by will and by divine will and timing. I know this personally because I've connected with literally through the universe core and matrix of our universe right here. The, the core and matrix of this very timeline all the way to the alpha omega point of all existence and its core matrix. The definite source and beyond. 
So I know this unconsciously, subconsciously, consciously, and backed up in all my cloud sites within the cosmos. I mean, nobody has ever asked for G5 nor even Pony Life. And now is the time, more than ever, to resume G4, Equestria Girls, and Friendship is Magic before everything gets worse, period. This is not just a feeling or opinion. This is cold, hard, fat. From the literal core and matrix of this universe, core and matrix of this timeline, along with divine will. And drama can go somewhere else with the toxic ones that linger. But in short, forget everything MLP G5 and Pony Life right freaking now. And no longer and no longer acknowledge it. Because it does not exist in this timeline. And had courage Hasbro to resume friendship with magic and equestrian girls right freaking now. Divine order, worldwide peace, peace of, and within the Brony community. Oh, look at them. They put a G in that as well. Somebody mistyped. Maybe I mistyped that. Anyway. <laughs> like, well, whatever. Within the Brony community that I am a part of regardless. Along with the authentic love that supersedes greed, money, hatred, and toxicities. I mean, just shoot. I was acknowledged, and you know what? You got the file. I mean, you saw the tweet right here. I'm just ashamed. I'm just sorry I missed that tweet and they get, did not get a chance to like it. But look at the page where all that was on. That very page. Look. And then compare it with this. Like, you know, evil for bad. Uh, uh, significance in Larabama. And <laughs> look at this. Uh, significance in Larabama. This bullet point. I was right there. I was right there. I was right there. <laughs> Even Hasbro was like, and Equestria Greedy gave a whole bunch of knocks on the door in response to that. They're like, <laughs> they, you know what? Let's bring that image right now. It's just on point. I told it to those executives, and they chicken out. Then they, they're like, to Equestria Daily. But hey, no. <laughs> I told it to the executives right now, the ones that remain. You can't handle that truth! So, yeah. It's divine will, divine told. If G5 is not shelved right now, when when Hasbro has a chance to redeem, redeem themselves during the limited time, it's just going to be divinely will and done, period, with G4 being resumed, with Adobe Flash and all the original animation programs. No CG and nothing that came about in the likes of Pony Life or... Uh, that Russian propaganda, which is G5, as well as Pony Life, which that is also Russian propaganda. So yeah, it ought to be dissolved, destroyed, totally wiped. Even every single piece of merchandise, including any of those G5 towels, that or blanket, as it were, that was put in that one leak that Lightning Bliss also responded to at that one point. <sighs> uh, yep. Well, that was divinely timed right there. <laughs> So, yeah, let's zap it up to its stream. I'll see y'all later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rede redeem yourselves. You know what to do, people at Hasbro. You know what to do. Original staff of G4. Hire them all back. Get rid of everybody and everything G5. Maybe bring some of them back on for, like, uh, guest details and whatnot for the resuming of G4. John Delancey, as Discord, is going to be like, Okay, I'm sorry. So this future episode of uh, that was premiered at the end of season nine. Mm, yeah, I'm sorry. That's not canon right now. So we're gonna take you back to the earlier time when Princess Twilight had actually just made it into being Princess of Equestria. Oh, and I will admit, Luna and Celestia they still do their sun and dream work despite taking retirement. There's no escaping their divine duties. Period. Yeah, obviously, go with the original Ryan, and as John Delancey will. Really support that guy, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to make this reference one more time because of a silver quill. So, what about Discord? What about him? No, the episode. What did they go of the episode? What about Discord? What about him? <laughs> That's just so funny on loop, but still appropriate. All right. Y'all take care. Have a blessed, safe day. Let's do this. It's divinely timed and will and rightly so. Light-powered, good, righteousness.